In this video, we're going to be factorising quadratics like this one. And the complicated bit we've got here is the fact that it's 5x squared. We've got methods that enable us to factorise x squared plus blah blah blah, but when we've got more than one lot of x squared, uh, life gets a little bit more tricky for us. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to use a very specific technique in this video, and it seems a little bit tricky when you first encounter it, but once you've done it a few times, it always works and is actually quite easy to use. So first of all, write out your quadratic in this format, the x squareds first, then the x's, and then the numbers on the end, and we're going to multiply the first and the last numbers together. So 5 times 3 is equal to positive 15. So we multiply the first and the last together, that gives us plus 15, and the question we've got to ask is, what factors of positive 15 sum to plus 16. Well 16 is the number of x's that we have in the middle. So what numbers multiply together to make 15 but add together to make 16. So just write out all the factors of 15. 1 times 15 is 15, 3 times 5 is 15. Now when we add them together which ones make 16? Well obviously 1 plus 15 is 16. So thinking about our original question, what factors of 15 sum to 16? Well, 1 times 15 is equal to 15, and 1 plus 15 is equal to 16. So what we're going to do is rewrite that 16x as 1x plus 15x. So this is exactly the same expression that we had before, except instead of writing 16x, we've got 1x plus 15x. We've still got 16x's. Now we're going to factorise the first two terms, and we're going to factorise the second two terms, and that's going to help us towards our final goal. So what we've got to do for the first term here, we've got to factorise what have 5x squared and 1x got in common. Well, they've obviously got an x in common. So if I multiply x by 5x... I get, well, x times 5x is 5x squared. What would I have to multiply x by to get 1x? Well, just 1. x plus 1. x times 1 is 1x. Now, this is my first factor. So I'm going to write this factor down again over here. And I've got to think, what do I need to multiply 5x by to get 15x? Well, that's obviously 3. And let's just check that. If I multiply 3 by 1, I get 3. So that's the next line. And then finally, I've got x here and I've got 3 here. So that's, we'll write x. They're both positive, x plus 3. And they are both multiplied by 5x plus 1. So 5x plus 1 is my oops, other factor. So that's my answer. x plus 3 times 5x plus 1. I can just check that. So x times 5x is 5x squared x times 1 is plus 1x, 3 lots of 5x is plus 15x, and 3 lots of 1 are plus 3. So that is equal to 5x squared plus 16x plus 3, which is what the question was in the first place, so that's good. And our final answer is this. This is the factor, uh, factorised format of that. Let's look at a slightly trickier one now. Um, same basic process, but this gets a little bit more tricky because we've got negative numbers involved. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So we're looking for factors of 12 that sum to minus 7. So what I'm going to do is just write out all the factors of 12. So 1 and 12, 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. Obviously, when I do 1 plus 12, I get 13, 2 plus 6, I get 8, and 3 plus 4, I get 7. None of them are going to give me minus 7. But what I've forgotten is that there are the negative versions of these um, factors as well. So in fact, we know, we can see that 3 plus 4 is going to be 7, so actually the factors are going to be minus 3 and minus 4, because minus 3 times minus 4 is equal to 12, and minus 3 plus minus 4, so add negative 4, is minus 7. So there we go, just to summarise those. So instead of writing minus 7x, we're going to write minus 3x minus another 4x. And obviously, if I start off with negative 3x, and I take away negative 4x, I'm ending up with negative 7x. So those two things are definitely equivalent. For the first thing, I need to factorise the first two, and then I need to factorise the second two. 
So let's have a look at the first bracket first. What have 3x squared and 3x got in common? They, well, they both got 3 in them. They've both got an x in them. So 3x is going to be my common factor of those two. 3x, I need to multiply that by x to get 3x squared. And what do I need to multiply it by to get negative 3x? Well, I've got positive 3x. I need to multiply that by minus 1. So 3x times negative 1 is minus 3x. So let's write down that x minus 1 as my common bracket over here. What do I need to multiply x, plus, x minus 1 by to get minus 4x plus 4? Um, well, what do I need to multiply x by first to get minus 4x? That's obviously minus 4, because minus 4 lots of x is minus 4x. Let's just check the uh, number works out, okay? Minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4. So that looks like that's going to work. And the x minus 1 is a common factor. It's, I've got minus 4 lots of x minus 1 and 3x lots of x minus 1. So x minus 1 is a common factor. And then I've got the 3x over here and I've got the minus 4 over here. So that's going to be my other factor. So the factorized version is this. That would be my answer. And always good habit just to practice, uh, just to check your answer uh, very quickly before you uh, finish there. x times 3x is 3x squared. x times minus 4 is minus 4x. Minus 1 times 3x is minus 3x. And minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. So what I've got is 3x squared minus, well, minus 4x, take away another 3x is minus 7x plus 4, that is the thing that I was trying to factorise in the first place, so we know for sure that we've got the right answer.